Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So, the second encounter starts here, at Sky Terrace uh, in IDA School Block H. And so, again, uh, if you haven't encountered the first time, um, that first encounter starts at the cargo station. And at the end of the battle, which you can see from this flashback, Saki realizes that the droids um, that you are fighting mentioned this in its broken kind of uh, mechanical language. So it gives us a hint as to come here for the second battle. Now each of these chance encounters is similar to Azami and uh, Serene as well as Garyu. So they do have a six hour countdown. So make sure you uh, space the timing correctly um, depending on your schedule and your day. Um, if you want to battle it as quickly as possible. Okay, so it looks like um, they've come back for a second round to get beaten on. And now, unfortunately, we are surrounded. Luckily, we have the IDA, uh, IDEA um, Iska to save us. And of course, that's why she is featured um, in her version uh, of o OG as well as uh, AS in this banner. I don't know if any of you have um, the AS Iska yet. I hope some of you have had some luck in this banner. Uh, me, I'm going to be saving for um, the next banner because I only have 400 stones or so, unfortunately. Anyways, um, this boss again, uh, pretty tough battle for only the second um, encounter. So be prepared. So you can see there's Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Um, I didn't realize this initially, but apparently I'm going to try this for the next battle. The Gamma uh, droid or bot um, is vulnerable to magic. And you see I have a full um, physical team. So I will probably bring in something like Tuva or Mighty maybe to deal some AoE damage and maybe damage the primary um, bot more easily. On the other hand, each of the other ones uh, do have different um, movesets as well as different functions. But the primary one is the Gamma one, so keep that in mind. Um, just like most bosses, if you keep the debuffs on, it will be fine. You can see just with a bunch of AoEs, um, the bosses are already down to over half life down. So it's not that the bad bosses are very difficult at this stage. It's just that they're dealing more damage um, to my party than I'm used to for a level 50 or second account. Now notice they also have a uh, knockback attack. And that is reminiscent of um, Otherlands Elzion Agatharian prototype boss where he hits you out of the um, fighting party for one turn. It actually helps because then I bring in back the same character and have its Valor Chant activate. So, you know, I don't really mind. I didn't uh, leave Mariel into party just because uh, I wanted to kill the bosses as quickly as possible. Obviously, it does do a lot of damage. So um, if your party is not as well armored or well equipped, um, a healer will help to, um, you know, keep your party alive. I don't know if Aurora Force will be that useful here. You can see there's a lot of physical attacks, but you know, the occasional uh, magic attack, you could use that if you'd like. Anyways, we'll talk to Iska for a little more. And obviously she is also investigating the matter because these attacks are happening on, um, you know, IDA school property and we don't want to endanger the rest of the students. So, as you read along, you will see that they give you a hint as to where to um, go next for your next chance encounter. And you can see that Saki um, has come to the conclusion it will be at the air tube station. So, we'll hunt for the next and third chance encounter there. I hope you all are enjoying the uh, uh, update so far. Again, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my videos. Also, I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me that way. Thanks for watching! 
We'll see you next time.